The nationwide nursing shortage is having an impact on college students looking to break into the field. It's difficult out there in, in a bedside nurse. Because of the shortage, they're asked to work more shifts. The more shifts they have, the less chance they have to rejuvenate themselves to come back for another day. Tracy Motter is the Associate Dean of Undergraduate Programs for the College of Nursing at Kent State University, the largest on-site nursing program in the state, she says. With demand higher now for nurses, graduating students have more options at the start of their career. Their opportunities are definitely more competitive for them and they can select what hospital they want to work for. But with more competition to remain at the hospital bedside, the nursing shortage is also having an effect on hiring nursing faculty to teach students. An issue Cuyahoga Community College Dean of Nursing is working to navigate. Right now we're we're struggling to get folks just, hey, we could you take this group? It's an eight week session. We need someone to take um, these these groups of students and we're not able to fill um, as, as rapidly as we, we have been in the past, we're sort of stretched to the max. It's all happening as enrollment increased during the fall semester. We saw um, about 150 students who entered and the previous semester, I think there was only about 80 who were ready. But now as we're moving forward into looking into the spring, our deadline, there's nearly 400 students who have expressed interest as demand grows during the pandemic, nursing programs are working on teaching students to take care of themselves to avoid burnout. The patients are more heavily dependent for not just physical care, but emotional care, um, psychological care. They're missing their family and there's just so much limitations and the nurses have to fill more roles that, that they hadn't in the past.